Well, good morning. Welcome to day number six here in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, I'm just standing out in front of the hotel at the moment, about to get my car, and I'm about to head to Graceland. Um, as I said the other day, I'm not normally a uh, uh, necessarily a, uh, a big Elvis fan, but I obviously do admire him. He's one of the, the greatest artists of all time. Um, so uh, while in Memphis, is obviously it's something I have to do. So uh, I'm just going to go get, try and get a bite to eat. I still haven't got much of an appetite, unfortunately, but I'll see what I can do. Uh, and then uh, I think the Graceland's only about 15 minutes from here, so uh, I'll do some bit, bit, of, bit of sightseeing as well. Plenty to do around here, actually. I've had a bit of a look online, and there's uh, the, the Civil War Museum and uh, the Rock and Roll Museum. So I'll see what I get up to today anyway. But the main thing is Graceland. Uh, so I hope you're an Elvis fan. Come along and uh, let's go check it out. So I'm here at Graceland, a um, little bit rushed I will say, the restaurant I went to, a few issues there, pretty busy, but I'm um, here. Um, yeah, it's like a little theme park, which is really interesting. Um, I didn't expect it to be sort of so big and so much to see, there's restaurants and gift shops and cafes and everything. So I am just about to start the VIP tour, so I'm starting in about five minutes. Um, plenty of people around, so uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get to it. of Graceland. Um, just an unbelievable experience to be in there. Uh, had some weird taste in old Elvis, but uh, it's, it was a shag carpet on the floor and ceiling and walls. Quite amazing, but uh, yeah, really glad I came to do it. Um, as I said before, I'm not the biggest fan, but uh, I am today. Really enjoyed being here and uh, still a little bit way to go, another hour or so, but uh, yeah, great to see the house and where they all, well, Lisa Marie and all that grew up as well. And uh, off to see the jumpsuits now.
that was pretty cool. Um, I didn't really know what to expect when I got here, but uh, that was really well done. Really enjoyed the tour of the house. Uh, and geez, if you're an Elvis fan, wow. <laughs> the amount of memorabilia and suits and his cars and his uh, gold records. Wow, it is just like a Disneyland for Elvis fans here. Um, so, uh, no, I'm really glad I did it. Really glad I did it. I, it was, um, yeah, it was uh, about a three hour tour in the end. So a little bit longer than what I expected. And I've probably been hanging around for another sort of 30, 40 minutes afterwards just at my own leisure. So, but uh, yeah, really, really glad I did it. And uh, if you are in Memphis and you're a Elvis fan, then uh, do yourself a favor and check out Graceland. Well worth it. Okay, I'm just standing outside of Sun Studios here in Memphis. Uh, this is famous for being uh, the place where Elvis Presley recorded his first ever album. It was just a short little uh, paid uh, recording session. Apparently he was going to record just a couple of songs for his mother and uh, the owner of it, Sam Phillips, uh, took note of his name and um, yeah, I think later he might have recorded an album here as well. But a famous landmark here in uh, Memphis. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, there's a lot of tourists around there, well, has been up until now, but uh, yeah, just a famous landmark, a part of Memphis as far as Elvis's early beginnings. place is just out of control. I've actually been to the one in Las Vegas, but uh, this one is just <laughs> nuts. It's in a massive uh, pyramid that used to be an entertainment center. This is where Mike Tyson fought Lennox Lewis. And I uh, just actually held a um, my first uh, Magnum handgun. Holy shit, I didn't get a photo of it. I felt a bit awkward asking the guy to get a photo, but he let me hold it. And uh, it was heavy, really heavy. It's, um, you would have seen the guns there, just, just crazy, just rows and rows and rows of shotguns, ARs, and um, yeah, uh, pistols, so just, just crazy. So I'm just gonna, I'm just, and then it's got a, uh, a elevator in the middle of it, it goes right up to the top, but you ain't getting me on that, no way, but it's got a Wahlburgers in it. Just uh, amazing, just uh, a crazy place. I know I said amazing a few times, I'll say it again, it's amazing. But um, yeah, if you're a fisherman or a camper or a boater or a hunter, it, this has got everything that you could possibly imagine. It's almost like a, an entertainment center still, but it's a, uh, a sporting goods store. So I'm gonna continue. It's actually got a um, shooting range in it too. <laughs> so I'm gonna continue to look around and those will keep me occupied for a while, I think. But um, yeah, just one of the, uh, crazy thing you'll see over here.
Okay, well that's a wrap for day number six, and what a day it's been. Um, the Graceland experience was just unbelievable, loved it, and, uh, and even the, the Bass, Pro, Bass Pro Shops, I think it is, that was amazing as well, as you've heard me say about 10 times. So yeah, look, a really good day. It's only about eight o'clock here, but I've, I've uh, well, it's been a big day, and I've uh, sort of had enough. I've got a big drive uh, in front of me tomorrow, another five and a half hours um, up to Louisville, Kentucky. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna just uh, take the opportunity to uh, have a have a bit of a spell early night and up nice and early and on to the next journey. Thanks again, hope you enjoy day number six. Look out for day number seven.